My bad. AYUP the bald and be again. Ayo. Just wanted to tell you that I think you're really cool and you give Thank me you. gender envy, man. I don't quite Thanks understand gender en envy. Explain gender envy to me, please. Chat, what? Some of you probably There's know. I don't really get it. It's one of those ones that doesn't really make sense help. to me. I think I could probably take a guess, but I'd like someone. What does it mean they want your gender? Because this is what I don't understand. How? Right, right. This is where I get confused. This is where I get confused. Um, so you have to ex you have to excuse me. Why do you get gender envy of me specifically? This is where it confuses me. I am a male, right? But so are well, so is every other male. Why specifically of me? That's where I get confused. Like that that's where I don't get it. Like why not? I don't know Robert Downey Jr. Like like for example. All right, you're just complimenting me now, and I appreciate that. But at the same time, why is that then gender envy and not just like general envy of the way someone looks? Why is it specifically gender? Or is it because? Wait, no, I think I think I I, I had a brainwave. I had like a fucking Jimmy Neutron brainwave. And I think I kind of got it. It's like, cause oh okay, so they, they, uh... right? Say someone's male, but they're like. So this is this is where I get confused because terminology it, wording's hard. Um, but like, so say someone is trans female. So like, they were born genetically male, but they're they're female, right? They are likely to be feminine looking just because of the way like genes work and shit. They would like to be more masculine presenting, and they wish they were like me because they would like to be more masculine presenting the way I am. For example, is what you're saying, right? Did I- have I gathered that? Is that what I got? Have I got that right? Sounds about right. Yeah, that, okay. Yeah, I, I get it now. Alright. I wanted to figure it out. I thought- I thought I kind of had a rough idea, but I wanted to figure that one out. So it's like general envy of the way someone looks, but specifically someone of the gender that you are if you were not born genetically that way. Biologically that way. Genetically isn't all of it. That's- that's what it is. It's- it's just a specific type of, like, I wish I looked like you, but like specifically trans people get it understand Brainwave brains engaged get it now to an extent. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think I can fully understand it Right like it's difficult to understand something that you can't really experience, but like I think I basically get it I Think I basically figured it out now. Yeah trans rights too right too fucking right I think sometimes the wording confuses me like give me your gender that kind of confuses me I I I I I, I think people that like uh, to me gender is like a categorical thing and not a tangible thing RN, but I And maybe that's that me Jack being manacle. confused where people say give me your gender and I feel like that's more of like a I feel like that's more of a jokey thing, right? That, that feels more lighthearted like I feel like people understand it's not a tangible thing. Yeah, it's Mimi, right? That's jokey okay. I wanted to make sense of that as well. That was another one where I was like I think I get that people are joking But also maybe they're not and I'm just dumb. I like to make sense of things. I like to understand people I find a lot of the time that the reason people don't like things or are scared of things is ignorance and I like to I've, I've met people who are ignorant of things, but I found in Explaining things to people because I, I like to make an effort to understand things that people like, tend to be more accepting when they understand Okay, here's an interesting argument, right? Here's an interesting thing. I think as a as like cis white male just like the, the, the giga privilege man, right? I think I think it's maybe not maybe I don't hold a responsibility. I don't know if that Maybe I do really. I don't really know. I, maybe it's on every individual, but I, I just kind of took this on as a thing I do. Maybe it's a responsibility. Maybe it's just something I decided to do. I don't really know. But I like to understand, um, like minority issues, because I find that a lot of people who are whatever phobic, right, transphobic, homophobic, racist. Usually they don't like those people because of ignorance, which is not a big brain discovery. I think everyone knows that, but the the thing I found is that that then means those people who think that way, right? They are usually apprehensive, distrusting, got their back up against the people they don't like. Say they're transphobic, they're not particularly trusting nor friendly nor whatever to trans people, right? What they probably need to move on past their prejudice and to become a better person is simply to understand the mindset. However, are they probably going to sit down with a trans person and have that discussion? Probably not because they don't like them because they're apprehensive and distrusting However, if I as a straight man who they will have no issue with because I am none of the things they dislike 
go and educate myself on those people. When they express that view to me, I can turn around and go, hey, actually, this is how they think. And I am essentially an accessible medium for bigots to learn. I understand some people like that you shouldn't make accessible things for bigots, but I disagree because a lot of the time, what bigots need is to be educated on things. Because the only way you get rid of bigots is by changing their opinions. And you kind of need that accessible medium for bigots. And sadly, a transphobic person is- I see very few scenarios. Uh, under which a transphobic person is going to sit down with a trans person and try to understand them. But I, as a non-transphobic person, am likely to do that and then can pass on that message. That's what I'm trying to get at. And that is- that's not the only reason. I also have a very heavily LGBTQ streamer. Uh, street- fuck me. I have a very- um, heavily LGBTQ uh, plus uh, fucking audience. So naturally, I just like to be like someone who understands my audience well. But beyond that fact, I also think it's important that there are people like people like me who educate themselves on these issues for the reasons I discussed. There you go. I kind of buggered up my words, but I hope you understood what I was talking about. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to speak about that just then. It just felt like uh, the right thing to do at that moment. But yeah, 